Good evening, everyone. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rolando? How's everything? I'm fine. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, big smile, Rolando. Excellent. Very good. Welcome on board. Okay. Paola Yesenia, welcome on board. Good evening. Also, Evelyn Ramos, Stephanie, Marlon, Marlon Napoleon. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good, ah, good evening. Good, good evening. Good night later. Right now, let's continue. Okay, good evening. It's very good to see you. It's wonderful to see you. Good Sam. night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm going to see you tonight and uh, then next week, right? Next week is going to be vacation. All the week, you're going to relax. You're going to sleep and, you know, but you have to practice some parts that you are still missing. So you get your 80% and you are wonderful students. So I know that you will have your 80% and you will get that beautiful diploma that is waiting for you, okay? So I'm going to start sharing my screen and we're going to have our class, okay? Let's begin. It's very good to see you, Napoleon, okay? Marlon Napoleon, good evening, my friend. Good evening, hello. Hello, my friend. Okay, so let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is July the 29th. And tonight we're going to be working on some and any with food items. You say, teacher, uh, there is a question about some and any with food items, okay? Yes, we're going to be working on some, usually for affirmative and any for questions and also any for negatives. I don't have any money. I don't have any sugar. I don't have any spaghetti, but I have some salt. I have some tortillas, so let's have lunch. <laughs> let's have lunch. Only salt and tortillas, right? Well, okay, so let's begin. In the agenda tonight, we have, a, how about some sandwiches? You can make sandwiches or whatever, whatever you find is good for sandwiches. Then count versus non-count nouns. What do you have for breakfast? And adverbs of frequency. Teacher, what are adverbs of frequency? Never, sometimes, always, usually, rarely, etc. So these are the ones that we're going to be practicing. These ones not necessarily have to be with food. They can be with other activities. That's so we're going to be working on this. Let's begin. The objectives is to continue describing food you like. Okay, let's begin by thinking about yesterday. What topics do you remember we studied yesterday? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what topics we studied yesterday? The alphabet soup. The victor's food. We began with the, with the search. Uh-huh, the word search. Okay, excellent. Sorry, Sandrita, you were saying? Uh, the, I tengo problemas con el micrófono. The viscous food. Oh, yes, yeah, of course. We're talking about food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something else you remember? We were talking about there is and there are. We were talking about the reason there are. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Okay, excellent. Let's begin. Let's begin. Look at here the fruit, I mean the, the fruits and the, some vegetables too. Um, what fruit and vegetables can you see in the picture? There is a watermelon. Watermelon, yes, there is watermelon. There is a there is banana. There is a banana, there is a cauliflower. It's a cauliflower. Tomatoes. There, uh -huh, there is a tomato, there is a 
There is a strawberry. Green pepper, there is a strawberry, or there are two strawberries. Carrots. Uh, there are two carrots. Lettuce. Yeah, uh -huh. there Kiwi. is a cabbage, a head of cabbage. There is a fig. Kiwi. There is a kiwi. Okay, right. That's it. Excellent. Very good. These are some of the things that we see. Now, um, I have divided because I didn't find a picture that I liked about refrigerator. I decided to use uh, my creativity in this way. A refrigerator, there, is, there are some eggs, there is ice cream, there is milk, there is water, there is juice, there is meat, there is fish, and there is chicken. Okay, and on the shelf, on the shelf, we have sugar, potatoes, crackers, cereal, coffee, salt, spaghetti, and rice. We're going to be asking questions. These questions and the answers are going to be, if the question is, is there, is there any, you will say, yes, there is, or no, there isn't, depending on whether you see them here. But if the question begins with, are there, are there any, you will say yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Okay, let's begin with the first some questions. I will not be making the questions. I will assign volunteers because I am not the one that needs to practice. So uh, the first five questions are going to be asked by Marlon. Okay, Marlon is the first volunteer to ask the five questions to different people. Okay, Marlon will uh, choose the people, okay? And ask the questions one by one. Okay, let's begin. Is there is any use in the refrigerator? Okay, Nicole. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, is there any juice in the refrigerator? Any juice in the refrigerator? Uh -huh. is there any? No, there isn't. No, there isn't, okay. Yes, there is, yes, there is. Look, refrigerator, juice. Yes, there is, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Uh, now the next question is for Rolando. Rolando raise his hand. Okay, yes, Napoleon, next question. Or, or Marlon, next question. Are there uh, any eggs in the refrigerator? Okay, the, this question is for Ruth. Uh, yes, there are. Marlon, sorry, for Rolando. Yes, there are. Yes, there are, okay. Are there any eggs? Yes, there are, they are here. Okay, thank you very much. Now, yes, there are. Yes, thank you very much. Now, the next question is for Ruth, okay. Uh, are there any crackers on the shelf? Are there any crackers in the shelf? On the shelf? Uh, no, no, there is. Shelf crackers. No, there is. Crackers, shelf? Oh, see, sí. yes. <laughs> yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes, there are. Okay. Now, Marlon, another question for Evelyn Ramos, okay? Is, is there any coffee in the shelf, of the shelf, on the shelf? On the shelf, is there any coffee on the shelf? Yes, there is. Yes, there is, yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is coffee in the shelf. Excellent, very good. Now, the next one is for Paula Yesenia Rodriguez, okay? Is there any cereal on the shelf? Is there any cereal on the shelf? Paulita, is there any cereal on the shelf? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Where, Minguita? Where is it? Here? Cereal. Okay, cereal? Cereal in the shelf. Oh, yes, cereal on the shelf, yes. 
teacher, you don't, you know me, kid, okay? So, yes, you are right. Excellent, thank you very much. The next one is Jesenia, oh no, Jessica, sorry. Jessica, I'm changing your name, sorry. Okay. Is there any spaghetti in the refrigerator? Is there any spaghetti in the refrigerator? Spaghetti on the shelf in the refrigerator? No, no, there is. Okay, no, there isn't, right? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, those were your questions, Napoleon, okay, or Marlon Napoleon. Thank you very much. You are very kind. Now, the next person to be asking the questions, let me see, I'm going to see someone who doesn't usually practice a lot because she knows a lot, but she's usually hidden. It's going to be Xiomara Alejandra eh, Martinez, I think. Martin, no, Marroquin, okay. Marroquin. <laughs> Marroquin, okay. So, you are going to be asking the five questions. You choose the questions that you want. They are not in order. You decide which you ask. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for uh, Evelyn Ramos. Are there any crackers in the shelf? Repeat, please. Are there any crackers in the in the on the shelf? The shelf. Yes, there are, yes, there are. Thank crackers. You. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. You can say yes, there are, but if you want, yes, there are crackers on the shelf. So yes, yes, there are is enough. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, next question. Uh, Signorina, what are you going to ask now? Um, okay. Is there any cereal on the shelves? The question is for? For Oscar Giovanni. Oscar Giovanni. Okay, Oscar Giovanni. Oscar Giovanni. Eh, disculpe, ¿cómo fue la pregunta? Repeat the question. Is, is there any cereal on the shelves? Uh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes. yes, there is. Yes, there is. Thank you very much. Excellent. Next question. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, Stephanie, is there any fish in the refrigerator? Refrigerator? Refrigerator, refrigerator. Uh -huh. uh, Are there any eggs in the refrigerator? Eggs? Fish. No escuché bien. Fish. Oh, fish. fish. It's a fish. I didn't hear one. Uh, yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is. Okay, thank you very much. We see we happen in like, don't shout, I'm not deaf. Okay, how many candles do you want? No, I didn't say candles, okay? So let's see, next, next question. Are there any potatoes on the shelf? 
the question is for? Sulma. Sulma, okay, excellent. Teacher, Sulma. no veo nada, me he quedado. Quizás con. Ay. Oh, oh. Let's. What happened? Uh, maybe Sulma, if you if you want, what you can do is uh, maybe reboot. Okay, teacher, what reboot? Reinicie su programa. Okay, maybe and join join the class again. Maybe you can see in that way. Okay, sorry. I would like to have another idea, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind, okay? Sorry, Sulma. Okay, then the question can be changed to Veronica Guadalupe Flores, okay? So would you please repeat the question? Is there any juicy in the refrigerator? Okay, is there any juice in the refrigerator? Okay. Juice, refrigerator. Okay, the question is for? Okay. For Jessica, Roxana Contreras. Yes, there is. Yes, there is, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now let's move on. Okay, thank you for participating and thank you for the ones who had the intention, but they couldn't, okay? Let's move on. Exercise one, how about some sandwiches? The purpose is to discuss quantities and amounts. Teacher, quantities and amounts? Yes, quantities is for countable, and amounts is for uncountable. Okay. What food, what food do you take to a picnic? Okay. My dear ones, what food do you take to a picnic? Watermelon. Sandwich. Yes, sandwiches, watermelon. Okay. What else? Apples. Apples. Cookies. Cookies. Grapes. A green. Green way, juice, green. watermelon, juice, melon, juice, yes, orange, bread, bananas, grapes, bananas, okay, orange, ice cream, cookies, <laughs> maybe ice yes, cream, yes, ice cream, yeah, ice cream, yes, ice. I like ice cream, in an ice pack, maybe in an ice pack, right? Because if it's not in an ice pack, it free it melts. And then you have liquid ice cream. Okay. Right. Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. Potato chips. Potato chips. Sure. Potato chips. Excellent. Very good. Now let's continue. So we we made the picnic. Okay. So let's see. These graphics are brought to you thanks to Pixabay. Okay, Pixabay, where you find free pictures, okay? Pixabay.com. Okay, now then the credit goes to those people who are working so nicely and helping me with the pictures. All right, now the next one. So we say like this, listen and study the conversation. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Karina, raise her hand. Yes, Karina. Karina, Ruth, Karina. 
you want to participate. Oh, okay. excellent, very good. Ruth Karina and Evelyn Ramos are the first. And then we have Alexander for the second round. Okay. What do you want for the Pini? Mm -hmm. mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. We need some. Some. We need some. some. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. It happens to the best, so don't worry. Continue, please. <laughs> okay. um, now we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade, lemonade and lemonade, and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato potato salad. Excellent, thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> now we have Rolando Alexander. Okay, it's going to be Adam, and Adamantium. No, Adamantium. Amanda is going to be. Uh, let me see, Silvia Escobar. Yeah, Silvia Escobar. Okay. So this for this round. Let's begin. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwich? Uh, sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. Any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do, uh, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone like potato salad. All right, excellent, very good. Okay, now we have, I saw two hands. That was Sulma and uh, Mirna. Sulma and Mirna. Okay, Sulma is Adam and uh, Mirna is Amanda. Okay, let's begin. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's put some potato salad. Sure, every like potato every, salad. Everyone likes? Everyone likes potato salad? Okay, all right, thank you very much. Now the next volunteers are Stephanie Melendez, it's going to be Amanda, and Don Raul Quintanilla is going to be Adam. Okay, let's begin. What do you want from the picnic? Uh, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. OK, 
Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Sandrita Campos is going to be uh, Amanda. And Adam is going to be Rolando. Uh, Rolando Revelo is right. Okay, let's begin. Uh, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, oh, about some sandwich. How about how about some sandwiches? How about some sandwich? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Salad? Sure, everyone likes potato salad. <laughs> okay, somebody once asked me, teacher, salad is salado. No, salad is ensalada, I said. Ah, okay. So they think, confusion, right? Salad, salado. Okay, no, salad, ensalada. Okay, so salado is salty, salty, okay? Salt, salty, right? Salado, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, I think there were two other volunteers, but yeah, now I think that we, are, we clear them all out. So, all right, excellent, let's move on. Uh, important things here. What are some important things? We don't have uh, any bread. We use any in negatives, right? We don't have any bread. We don't have uh, any money. We don't have uh, any time. We don't have uh, any patience. We don't have any freedom. We don't have uh, any books, okay? So we don't have any plural noun, we don't have any books, we don't have any potatoes, we don't have any mangoes, we don't have any apples, but uh, uncountable, we don't have any juice, we don't have any bread, we don't have any salad, okay? Um, in the questions, for the questions we have, do we have, in plural nouns, do we have any drinks? Do we have any potatoes? Do we have any apples? Okay, do we have any tomatoes? But for uncountable, do we have any bread? Do we have any ice cream? Do, you have, do we have any cake? So that would be for the questions that we have here. Now, short answers. No, we need some. No, we need some. We need some, some would be the pronoun, substituting some drinks, right? No, we need some drinks. So no, we need some, okay? Now, affirmative, some, some is in affirmative. Let's get some lemonade. Let's, teacher, I see let's a lot. What is let's? Okay, let's, when you say let's go, vayamos. Let's eat, comamos. Let's start, empecemos, right? So it's an invitation, let's. Let's begin, let's go, let's play, come on. Let's, let's go, let's go, baby, come on, right? So let's go, let's go, so let's go. Then let's go, let's get some lemonade. Let's get some potato salad. Let's get some tomatoes, etc. So let's get, it's an invitation. And everyone, this is difficult for some people, every one. So every one, everyone is singular. Everyone likes, means all the people like potato salads. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, let's now let's go into the practice. Exercise two, 
sum and any in count and non-count nouns. Okay, let's see for some of the part. What do we say? Sum is for affirmative. I'm going to write here affirmative, okay? For you to remember, okay? Affirmative. Teacher, and that is for some or for any because it's on top of the two. Now it's for some. Now for any, we have two functions for any. Questions and what else? Negatives, right? Questions and negatives. Okay, teacher, examples. Yes, I have some money. I have some time. Teacher, what is some? Some is an indefinite amount. It's not big, it's not small, it's in the middle, okay? I have some time, I have some money, I have some pa patience, but okay, plural nouns. I have some books, I have some toys, I have some uh, minutes, okay? And of course, any is for negative. I don't have, I don't have any time. I don't have any money. I don't have any patience. Teacher, we're writing, we're playing with your screen. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So uh, we say like this, any negative, I don't have any. Questions, do we have uh, any tomatoes? Do we have uh, any potatoes? Okay. Yeah, I need to eliminate permission to write on the screen, right? Imagine. <laughs> okay. No problem. Let's continue. So, Exercise, exercise A, complete the conversation with some and any. Okay, uh, for this, I need you to read the conversation, think, think about it. What do I need? Is it negative? Ah, it's negative, I need any. Ah, it's a question, I need any, okay. Ah, it's an affirmative. I need some, okay? Affirmative, some. Negative, any. Questions, any. Okay, teacher, but I saw some in, in questions. For the moment, don't worry about some in questions, okay? Only in affirmative. Later, we will see that. Okay, so. Okay, let's begin. Teacher, disculpe. Sure. Podría repetir eso que acaba de decir. Sure, I can repeat it. I don't remember, but I will repeat. Some is for affirmatives, right? Any is for negatives and questions. Okay. I need some money. I have some time. Okay. And in negatives, I don't have any time. I don't have any money. Questions, do you have any money? Do you have any time? Okay, so that would be for the example. And in short answers, you can say, do you have any time? Yes, I do. I have some time. Or yes, I do, I have some. Yes, Karina? Thanks, teacher. Yes, okay, you're welcome. Karina, do you have a question? No, teacher, I want to do the first. No, 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 gracias. Okay. Karina, you want to do the first, right? And the store does, um, the store does have any potato salad. Okay, doesn't, doesn't. Uh -huh. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Perfect, excellent, very good. That's great. Okay, let's write here any. 
fantastic. Okie dokie. Now, number two for Stephanie Melendez. Okay, senorita, let's do number, number two. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. We have, sorry, we have lots of potatoes. Okay, some. We have lots of potatoes. Okay, the next one, Paola Yesenia Rodriguez, please go ahead. Yes, Paulita, you may begin. Come and say, do play. Okay. Do we have some mayonnaise? Mm -hmm. Yes. Any... Teacher, me escucho. Now I, I can hear you, but before I heard the transformers. Okay, would you please, uh, <laughs> yes, do it again. I heard it was Bumblebee and I said, oh. Okay, do we have some? Do we have? My, otra vez. Okay, do we have some mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, okay. So we have for, for questions, what do we use? Uh, any. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Any mayonnaise or mayonnaise? Okay, excellent, very good, nice. Thank you very much. Don't worry, uh, you know, technology plays with us. And sometimes I say, hey, Bumblebee came into the class and took the place of my dear student. Okay, no, but that's okay. Thank you very much, that's nice. All right, we need, Adam is going to be Marlon, okay, Marlon, could you please do that one? No, we need to buy some. Excellent, very good. We need to buy some. Fantastic. Teacher, that's outside. Oh, yes, it's true, it's outside. Okay, perfect, that's it. Now that fixes it. All right, now, my dear ones, the next one, who wants to do the next one? Sandrita, Sandrita Carolina Fuentes. We need uh, any onions too. Um, what do we use for affirmatives? We need some onions too. Yes, very good. We need some onions too. Some is for affirmatives, any is for negative, right? Okay, so fantastic. Now let's move on. The next one is for the other Sandrita, our dear Sandrita Rodriguez. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> oh I don't want any, any onions. I have onions. I hate onions, okay? I hate onions. I hate onions. I don't want any onions. I hate onions. I hate onions. <laughs> That's so good, right? And people hate onions. Okay, <laughs> good. For the next conversation, Jessica Contreras for the next. Then let's get some and celery. Okay, excellent. Some celery, very good. Okay, it's got too close to the celery. Okay, let's move it. All right, fantastic. Now, next volunteer for Adam. You have two for one, okay? Two answers for one. The next volunteer. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara is the volunteer, okay? No, I don't want any cereal in my potato salad. Okay, any cereal. Excellent. And then we have, okay, the next one. Okay. Yes, you know, we have two for one. Okay. But let's put uh, some apples in it. Let's put some apples in it. All right, fantastic. Now, 
who's going to participate in the conversation. We're going to have Adam is going to be Rolando Alexander. Rolando Alexander is going to be Adam. And we're going to have another lady who is raise her hand. Cannot place her. Let me see. Uh, is Mirna Margarita, no, Mirna Mercedes. Oh, but she was, I guess. Okay, Mirna Mercedes Herrador de Vasquez, right? Mrs. Vasquez. Okay, so teacher, what are we going to do? We're going to practice the conversation. Now it's completed, so we're going to practice the conversation, okay? Let's begin. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? ¿Tú? Ok. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Ok. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery. My potato salad, uh, but put some apple in in it. Let's put let's put some apple in, apples in it. Mm -hmm. Let's put some apples in it. Excellent. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds awful. Apples in potato salad. But you know, they taste delicious. They're very good. All right. Excellent. Now, the, sec the second round, we're going to have uh, other people. Uh, let me see. What show the other volunteers? Four people raise their hands. Eh, Karina, Marielos, okay? Karina and Marielos, okay? And Sarita for the next one, Sarah Nicole for the next one and Silvia Stuart for the next one, okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we had a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Mm -hmm. Adam? Who is who continues? Okay. No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Definitely, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Nicole and uh, Karina, Ruth Karina. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want 
and you sell it in, in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That's some awful. Awful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Don Rolando Guzman Revelo is going to be Adam. And uh, there was a lady who uh, put her hand down. Let me see, Silvia Escobar. Okay, Silvita, if you're still around. Okay, you are Amanda. And uh, Rolando is Adam. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Oh, we need to buy some. We need some onions too? Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Okay, excellent, very good. Now Don Raul Quintanilla is going to be Adam. And he needs a lady volunteer. I volunteer. I volunteer. I volunteer. I volunteer. Let's begin. I volunteer. Hi, Tanchula. We have two, but only one is going to be there. Okay. Thank you very much. Begin. Amanda. Can teacher. Amanda. Can teacher. Uh, the, the, one, the first one that said me. Amanda. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Uh, let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I have onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery and the potato salad. But let's put some apples in. Apples in potato salad. That's so awful. That sounds awful. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Now, Thanks. only because we have Sulma and Sandrita Marisol Campos. We're going to be the last ones time. So, okay. Sulma is going to be Amanda. Let's begin. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Mm -hmm. No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I had onions. Okay, onions. They let get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But but let but but let put some apple in in it. Apples in it. Mm -hmm. Apple in potato salad. That sounds awful. Mm, that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. Apples in potato salad. Mm, that sounds awful. Okay, thank you very much. Now we must continue. So, but this potato salad looks good. Some people say not, teacher. I prefer the popcorn. Okay, maybe. Vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. So we have bun, bun. Teacher, bun is conejito. Yes, but of here is bread. Okay, bun. Sandwich, apple, orange, 
burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, potatoes, tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olives, peanuts, pancakes, onion, watermelon, peas, cherries, grapes. These are countable, buns, sandwiches, apples, oranges, burgers, etc. Uncountable, you cannot say they are plural. You cannot say breads, fruits, juices, no, because they are uncountable. Bread, fruit, juice, meat, rice, celery, no, cereal, I mean dentin, cereal, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour, olive oil, salt, soup, tea, cottage cheese, pasta, honey, water, cheese, butter, seafood, and mustard. Mustard. Okay. Let me see. Let's listen to these sentences and we have like, I eat bread. I love salad. I hate seafood. I never eat turtle eggs. I love eating vegetables. I always eat rice. Bread is delicious. Pizza is very good. Salt isn't good for you. Sugar is expensive. I never use olive oil. I'm allergic to it. I usually drink coffee. I don't like cookies. I never eat hamburgers. I'm allergic to it is an example, okay? I'm not allergic to anything. I'm allergic to not eating. <laughs> okay, so I'm allergic. I'm not allergic to anything. Okay, so any questions about any of the vocabulary? So normal okay, teacher. Yes, my friend. Yes, Marlon. Repeat, please. I eat bread. I love salad. I had seafood. I never eat totally egg. I love eating vegetables. Yes. I, I will eat rice. Mm -hmm. Bread is delicious. Bread. Pizza. Bread is is delicious. Yes. Pizza is very good. Salt is not good for you. Sugar is expensive. I never use olive oil. Uh -huh. I usually drink coffee. I don't like cookies. I never eat hamburgers. Excellent, very good, that's great. Now, Sandrita Carolina Fuentes, please. I have bread. I love salad. I have seafood. I never eat turtle eggs. I love turtle eggs. Turtle eggs. Hmm? I love eating vegetables. I love eating vegetables. vegetables. I love eating vegetables. I'm going to write it for you to pronounce. So it's easier for you. you I, 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 always, I always eat rice. Okay. Can you say this? Vegetables? Vegetables. 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 Yes, continue. Thank you. Uh, uh, pizza is very good. Sal is not good for you. Mm -hmm. Sugar is expensive. I never use olive oil. Never use? I I never use olive olive oil. Olive, olive oil. I never use olive oil. Mm -hmm. I usually, 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 I usually drink coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't like cookies. I never eat hamburgers. Excellent. Very good. That's great. Thank you, Thank you very much. I have four other volunteers. I don't see the hands up there. So let me see. See them here. I have Silvita Escobar. Please go ahead. Next. You may be. Yeah. 
Okay. No, he key. Okay, son. Me, yeah, me, or Sandra. Silvita Coat. Okay. I usually drink coffee. I never eat meat. Mm -hmm. I I sometimes eat burger. Uh -huh. I'm I don't like eggs. Okay. I I like to eat cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. I never eat seafood. Only that. Yeah. Yeah, very good. That's great. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, Don Raúl Quintanilla. I eat bread, I love salad, I have seafood, I never eat turtle eggs, mm -hmm. I love eating vegetable, vegetable. Yes. I always eat rice. Yes. Bread is delicious. Pizza is very good. Salt is good for you. Yes. Sugar is expensive. Mm -hmm. I never use um no puedo decir esa, esa palabra. Olive olive oil. Olive oil. Olive. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. Oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never use olive oil. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. I sorry. I usually drink coffee. I don't like cookies. I never eat hamburger. Fantastic. Okay. Very good. That's great. Okay. Continue. Let's see. The next one is going to be Rolando. Rolando Guzman Revelo. I eat bread. I love milk. I never eat turtle eggs. I always eat milk, I'll ham. Uh -huh, I always eat, yes. Soup is delicious. Mm -hmm. Salt is not good for you. Uh, I don't like turtle eggs. Okay, excellent. Continue, my friend. Oh, only that? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Number three. What do you have for breakfast? Okay. In some places, people eat tamales for breakfast. Sometimes corn tamales or green corn tamales. That is tamal de lote, right? So but here we have some, some ideas, like some people have hotcakes or pancakes, okay? Uh, pancakes, hotcakes, or some people have granola with uh, some uh, banana cut in slices. They have fruit, they have orange juice or apple juice. In some places, apples are more common and oranges, so they have apple juice. Or like here, they may have, a, okay, here, these are supposed to be sausages, some sausages, some toast. Uh, maybe they have a sunny side up eggs, and then they have tomatoes. They have some vegetables there and some other things here like in rolls, okay. Now then, this is breakfast for them. Some other people have cereal, cereal for breakfast. Now, what do you have for breakfast? Okay. What do you usually have for breakfast? 
example, I usually have some fried ground beans, right? Frijoles molidos fritos, fried ground beans. Fried ground beans, some cream, a piece of fried banana, some scrambled eggs, and coffee for breakfast. I usually have some fried ground beans, some cream, a piece of fried banana, some scrambled eggs and coffee for breakfast. Now, here we have egg sunny side up. Teacher, this is an omelet here, an omelet. But egg sunny side up, huevos estrellados, right? Estrellados, egg sunny side up. Scrambled eggs, revueltos. Hard boiled eggs, duros. Soft boiled eggs. Uh, tibios, right? The ones that are not completely cooked. So, but they are cooked, but they are not solid. Soft boiled eggs. Omelette is this one. Bacon, toast, butter, jam or jelly. There is the, the sweet stuff. Uh, apple jelly or Grape jelly, I don't know what they are, so. Okay, then cream, cheese, rice, fried ground beans, beans, pickles, tortilla, pupusas, tamal de lote, et cetera. What do you have for breakfast? And I have two volunteers. Raul Quintanilla wants to tell me about his breakfast, okay? Tell me, please. Mm. ¿Me puedes repetir otra vez, por favor? Okay, tell me about your breakfast, please. Here you have Sería a... lo que yo como. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. okay. Example. I usually have bread, elote, milk. Okay. Okay. I usually have some um, tamal, beans, mm -hmm. and cheese and cheese for breakfast and to drink coffee. coffee excellent very good thank you very much now ruth karina peña i usually have some um, toast yes and cheese uh -huh. some uh, milk Okay, some milk. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. And, see and bread. And bread. <laughs> and bread. Okay, very good. Now, Silvita Escobar. Okay, I usually have some milk with banana and cereal. Okay, set two. That's all. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, then, we have. Okay. Uh, Don Rolando Guzman Revelo. Okay, so. I usually have some cheese, um, beans, milk, yes. orange juice, mm -hmm. and water. Water, water for breakfast. Some bake. Okay. Uh, before. Ah, okay. Yes. No, I mean, it's because water is super healthy. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Stephanie Melendez. Uh, I usually have for breakfast um, uh, pupusas. Mm -hmm. Uh, with uh, hot chocolate or coffee. Okay, excellent. Very good breakfast. Nice. Okay. Marlon, what do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, I usually have some fried ground, fried ground beans uh, with rice. Fried uh, ground beans? Si, sí, frijoles, uh -huh. fritos con arroz. <laughs> Excellent, yes. Fry. Uh, um, uh, cheese. Uh, uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee. 
Okay. Some cream. Add some cream. Some cream. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Nice. Then Jessica Roxana. I usually have some uh, fruity salad and orange juice mm -hmm. and water. And water. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very healthy. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Sandrita Rodriguez. Okay. I usually have some scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. beans, beans. Tamar, uh, coffee with milk. Okay, excellent. That's very good. Nice. Thanks. Okay, William Dagoberto Vasquez, you are okay next. The microphone? Yes. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What do you use when you have for breakfast, my friend? I usually have some eggs, some inside of uh, some jam, a piece of cheese, mm -hmm. some red banana, yes. and chocolate. And chocolate okay. for breakfast, chocolate for breakfast. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Don Rolando Alexander Hernandez. Okay. Hernandez. I usually have some omelette yes, um, with water, water. with, with uh, orange juice mm -hmm. and cheese. And cheese mm -hmm. for breakfast. Okay. Sweet, for breakfast. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Now, Nico. I usually have some beans, eggs, sunny syrup, and with water. And sometimes I drink coffee. Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, Xiomara. I uh, usually have a, a cream, cream, cheese, uh, beans, beans, and and bread, and, bread. and coffee with milk. Okay, excellent, very good. That's nice. Thanks, the Nuria. I usually have some eggs on the side up with tomato sauce and fried ground beans with cheese. And I always drink coffee because I love coffee. Okay, fantastic, Nuria. Thank you very much. And to finish, the last one is going to be Sandrita Carolina Fuentes, okay? I usually have at sunny side up, beans, tortilla, eh, coffee with milk, and water. Okay, for breakfast. Okay, excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we say, eh, thank you very much for attending. Eh, like I said at the beginning, we have vacation next week, no class, no classes next week. All the week is vacation. We, I will see you next Monday, okay? Next Monday. Thank you very much for your participation. You are wonderful, okay? Sleep time. I will be seeing you, you after you. vacation. God bless you all. Take care of yourself, my friends. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Happy vacation. Good night, teacher. Happy vacation. Feliz vacacion, teacher. Thank you. You too. Take care, my. Happy. Bye. Happy vacation. Thank you. Have a nice vacation. Bye.